In today's news, Bisping reacts to Patty Pimlet calling out Conor McGregor. An MMA reporter reveals that Conor McGregor is the only UFC fighter who has not been tested by USADA in 2022. The MMA community reacts to the bizarre submission at Bellator 285. Aljamain Sterling breaks down bantamweight division. And Jake Paul calls out Floyd Mayweather. Patty Pimlet recently called out Conor McGregor to a future fight, saying that it would be the biggest fight of all time. While speaking on the most recent episode of the Believe You Me podcast, Michael Bisping weighed in on a potential fight between the two UFC stars and said he would for sure tune in to watch the fight. Here's the clip. Paddy is, you know, we said before, lightning in a bottle. That, that, that kid is, he is, you know, and he's doing sensational things. And much like, it reminds me when Connor first came on the scene, to be fair. You know, when Connor first came on the scene, people could not get enough of him. You know, and it's kind of the same way with Paddy. You know, uh, he's he's engaging, you know, so far in the UFC, three fights, three quick victories. You can say what you want to say about the level of opposition so far, you know, but he's not ranked either, you know, so therefore he's fighting a similar level guys, you know, he does it in an entertaining way. He's finishing people. He's rocking it on the microphone. He's hilarious in interviews. Do you know what I mean? So I totally get it, 100%. And yeah, it's kind of funny. Conor, Paddy says he would consider fighting McGregor. Well, he'd have to check if McConnor would consider fighting him first. Kind of, Conor versus Paddy. Now, could you imagine? Could you imagine the scenes? Do you know what I mean? Could you imagine? A lot of people would watch that. To be fair, to be fair, and as much as I talk shit about the little numpty, do you know what I mean? And it, people are going to watch Conor fight all day long. It doesn't matter who it's against. Do you know what I mean? And I'll f***ing watch him as well. Because he's an exciting little shit. He is. He is. And whether you're ch tuning in to see him get walloped or tuning in to see him win, it's always an exciting affair. It appears Conor McGregor is the only active UFC fighter who has not been tested by USADA this year. TSN's Aaron Bronstetter did some digging into the USADA testing database and discovered that McGregor stands alone in terms of active UFC fighters who have yet to be tested in 2022. He tweeted, After cross-referencing the entire active UFC roster with USADA's athlete test history database, I found that Conor McGregor was the lone active fighter, aside from some athletes who signed after August 1st, to not be tested by USADA. USADA has issued a statement on the matter without addressing the McGregor situation specifically. In another tweet, Bronstetter wrote, McGregor's team and the UFC declined comment. USADA provided TSN with the following statement. Once UFC athletes are enrolled in the testing program, they are subject to testing. Even when not competing, unless they notify the UFC of their retirement, their contract is terminated or they are otherwise removed from the program. In the event of an athlete's return to the UFC, they are required to remain in the USADA testing pool for six months before they are permitted to compete. Similar to World Anti-Doping Agency rules, the UFC may grant an exemption to the six-month written notice rule in exceptional circumstances or where the strict application of that rule would be manifestly unfair to the athlete, but in both cases under the UFC rules, the athlete must provide at least two negative samples before returning to competition. We do not comment on the testing pool status of any particular athlete. Aaron replied to that by writing, According to the UFC's anti-doping policy, the only way McGregor would be exempt from testing would be if his UFC contract was terminated or he provided the UFC with written notice that he was retiring. McGregor is currently ranked 11th in the official UFC lightweight rankings. What do you guys think of this USADA McGregor situation? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Bellator welterweight Luca Pokley debuted for the promotion with one of the most bizarre finishes seen in 2022. Pokley put his opponent Dante Shiro to sleep with an unorthodox choke in the opening bout of the Bellator 285 card. Check out the insane submission. High head in this position is usually the one that's going to come out on top. It's that fight IQ, isn't it, of, of Dante Shiro here? Pokley wants to. This is it. Neither guy can do it. There it comes. Once it comes up, it up to the top. He's out. Wow. Here's how the MMA community reacted to the shocking submission. John Fitch wrote, absolutely wild submission. Jed Meshu II said, I've been watching MMA for nearly 20 years. Not clue what that is. 
inverted bulldog choke, reverse guillotine. I can't even figure out how they ended up in that position. Luke Thomas said candidly no. I literally don't think I've ever seen that. MMA's capacity for surprise and weirdness is undefeated. Phil Murphy, Vaughn, what the flu choke. Nick Baldwin, this is wild. And John Pollock said, just file this one away for a future Brian Danielson finish designed to confuse everyone. In a recent interview with UFC News, UFC bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling gave his thoughts on some of the ranked bantamweight fighters, including UFC 280 opponent TJ Dillashaw. Here's the clip. I can tell you one thing for sure, Jack Shore might get back into the top 15 if he surely, oh, that was bad. <laughs> As I kind of start to get the ranks, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way. He just kind of seemed a little bit more arrogant than I thought he was. How are you not getting tired? Energize it, bunny man. This guy's fun to watch, nonstop action. But I think what makes him dangerous is that he's a gamer and he's willing to put it on the line when he steps in an octagon. I don't think he's done anything in his career fairly. I respect his skill set. I respect what you've done in the sport. But guess what? The backpack is coming and I'm coming for that ass. Jake Paul has some harsh words for Floyd Mayweather. Last Saturday, Mayweather competed at Super Risen, where he faced the popular Japanese MMA fighter and YouTube star, Mikuru Asakura. Floyd defeated the Japanese sensation by knockout in the second round of the match and was to earn over 15 million for the fight. On Monday, Paul took to social media and commented on the recent win of Mayweather. All right, ladies and gentlemen, picture this. It's 2022. Floyd Mayweather is ruining his legacy, fighting no-name guys, wasting his fans' money, wasting his fans' time. He doesn't even know the names of the guys he's fighting, and then he chooses to fight. Comedy shorts gamer. Influencer. To make some money to pay his tax bills. Floyd Mayweather telling Jake Paul that he will only fight Jake Paul if he comes down to his weight. 140 pounds or something. I can't believe what's going on in the world. I can't believe this is real. Jake also called out Floyd to a boxing match and said that he will drop down to 175 to make the bout happen. Floyd, I will fight you. And you know that's one of the biggest fights to make in boxing. I weigh 175, you weigh 165, we can get that done. Make a couple hundred million dollars, but what will your excuse be? You didn't care what my brother weighed, so why do you care what I weigh? Oh, because you know, you know what's going to happen. I want to say I got your O. I don't want to just say I got your hat. I got your O. But you're going to find a way to dance around this. You know, you said, oh, once he fights a professional fighter, he's going to get destroyed. It'll be bad for him. Why not let that be you? The best ever. There's only one Mayweather. But he's scared to fight Jake Paul. It's 2022. I can't believe what the fuck's going on, guys. God damn it. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Baroth. Second place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named The Art of War. And our top pick was also found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Dilwar. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.